Hello again, this is Dyer of a Trader, and today's session is going to be over a, another financial astrology component, and this is dealing with just singular angles of planets. Now, in videos in the past, we've discussed aspects, we've discussed the, the longitudinal lines and how William Delbert Gann had a formula for, for transposing those longitudinal coordinates onto a price chart. But something that he never really talked about, and that's something that really only a contemporary uh, analyst and writer and expert in financial astrology, Larry Pesvento, he wrote in his book about uh, uh, using certain angles of Venus. And I want to show you what that is and how, how fascinating those kinds of levels are. So first I want to pull up, uh, we'll, we'll use Bitcoin for this. So going to pull up Bitcoin's chart in Optima and as you can see it's just a regular candlestick chart I'll change the colors here so those of you who are not familiar with looking at uh, black and white this is the this is the really the traditional way that people used to look at candlestick charts was black and white uh, but we'll we'll do the normal red and green if you're familiar with trading view or other software this is how they would color them in so what I want to do is I want to identify the planet and then the angle. And Larry Pesavento specified a number of degrees, either 72 degrees of Venus or 36 or 18. And what I did is I went through both of them and I found that the Venus... This is, this is actually quite fascinating. Uh, of all the things that I've done in, in my various uh, uh, lectures and, and various uh, live trading session and education sessions, I, I, I don't get really weirded out by things that often anymore. However, this, this really threw me out of my chair almost. I could not believe how accurate these levels were. So I'm going to put in that these degrees repeat but I'm going to do it for 36 degrees. All right. And so there's a swing low right there. There's a swing high back here. But look what happens when I repeat it. So what repeating means is that every 36 degrees, we're going to go another 36 degrees. So if we do, you know, 36 times 2 is 72 plus another 36 is 108 and so forth. And this is what populates on the screen it is absolutely stunning and fascinating how accurate on bitcoin's chart these degrees of venus every 36 to every 36 degrees of venus how powerful and accurate to the swing high and swing lows these are this is a very phenomenal piece of technical analysis and and something that I have not noticed before. But then I thought, okay, well, there has to be other angles. And, you know, the problem is, is that there's many planets, many types of astrological phenomena, and there's 360 uh, different angles within a circle. So I started looking at the natal charts of some instruments. And, uh, you know, I was looking at the pound, uh, the British pound. So... If I, if I use the British pound, for example, right here, and I, I already did this one. This is for um, the moon. This is the moon at 45 degrees. So whenever the moon is at 45 degrees, this is the behavior that we get. Now, we could try with Venus and do the 36 degrees and you can see that it, it is not as powerful of a signal in fact if we go back to the moon though we might be able to see a better a better picture of it for instance right here is where we where we would be looking 45 degrees the moon at 45 degrees on a daily chart that's what this is that threw me off a little bit. I was looking at a, a chart that was at a four-hour chart. But this is the daily chart of the pound dollar. And look how often the 45-degree angles of the moon show up at swing highs and swing lows. This is a, this is a very fascinating and, and very interesting uh, observation I found. 
And as I continue to work through a lot of these various Forex pairs and cryptocurrencies and, and CFDs, you know, I'm, I'm going to be keeping a, a record of these and I'll, I'll be sharing them with you. But this is just another form of technical analysis called financial astrology. It is a very, very useful tool in forecasting and in f identifying turns in a market. It again, it alone is not enough to confirm a change in a trend or in a direction. But when you're utilizing other forms of non-related technical analysis, maybe an oscillator or price action itself, then you can get a very high probability of a positive trade uh, depending on, on where these cycles happen. Thank you for watching this video, and I look forward to speaking with you in our future videos.